and welcome to Decor It Yourself. It's hard to imagine, but a few weeks ago, I was sitting on a beach with my husband and in-laws. On a beach. We saw all sorts of animals and wildlife and had so much fun. I want a cool and unique way to commemorate the trip and thank my in-laws. So this week, we're making a Florida specimen box for the Coles. We went to the beach, so we collected shells, corals, and urchins that had washed up on shore. Be careful to never take any living creature or a habitat with minute residents. Always respect nature in its natural environment. To clean your seashells, you're going to soak them in a solution that is half water and half bleach to prevent odor. Allow them to dry for 24 hours before using. While the shells are drying, you can gather your other items for your specimen box. I'm keeping it simple with beach finds and a map of our destination, but you can put in postcards, plane tickets, whatever commemorative items you want. For the box, I picked one up at Michael's since this is a nice gift. Take each item and carefully lay them out where you want them. Then, depending on your item, use push pins or adhesive to attach your specimens. Continue until you have the layout you want. To create a little more depth, we're using an old gift box to frame the map. Cut the map to the size of the box, add adhesive, and place in the box. Put push pins in each of the four corners, and voila! Now you have an aesthetically pleasing specimen box to celebrate your trip and thank the lovely people who invited you. When we come back, I'll show you how to bring the beach home. Hey Threadbangers, I'm going to Haiti in March and we're looking for donations of blankets and plushies made by you. Click on me or follow the link below for more info on how to donate. Welcome back. If you can't make it out to the beach but are starting to feel a little cabin fever, bring the shore back home to your place. Pick a spot in your home and bring a bit of vacay your way. In our restroom, we have a beach print, painted herons I found at a thrift store, vintage seagulls from Side Dish, and real collectibles from our walks on the beach together. A great find is this killer beach lotion that smells so good it feels like you're sipping pina coladas on the sand. And for more shadow box ideas, I also made this one out of a vintage wooden coffee bin for my miniature chairs. I love how decor pad shadow box just one beach find piece here. Martha Stewart shows a picture-perfect shadow box along with video on her website. Design Sponge has the ladies at Manhattan Arts Cafe MUMA give a tutorial of their shadow box. And lastly, Apartment Therapy gives a cool suggestion of using vintage letterpress tools as their display. Thanks so much for joining us. Do you have any home decor tips or ideas? If so, leave them for us in a comment below. And until next week, remember, your nest needs you.